Hello and welcome, my name is Richard Schneeman, or at Schneems on the internet. Today we are going to introduce you to some command line basics. So let's go ahead and jump to the command line. On Mac, you are going to be looking for a program called Terminals. It, terminal, it's actually going to be in Utilities Terminal, or you can just hit Command, Shift, and search for Terminal. On Windows, we are going to be using Command Prompt. All right, so once you get Terminal open, it's going to look kind of something like this. I have some uh, some customizations on mine, so it might not look exactly like that. Uh, what we want to look for is this dollar sign. The dollar sign generally indicates that we are on our terminal. So here, I have already gone into a Rails project. So this is Mama Schneem's uh, website I made for my mother. And uh, we can, we're going to be using some basic command line, uh, command line, commands to browse and, and kind of view where we are. So the first one we're going to be using is ls. So go ahead and type ls onto your command line right now and hit enter. Now your output's probably going to look a little bit different than mine because you're not in the exact same directory, but ls is list files. So we're going to be listing all of the files in the current Mama Schneems directory. Uh, so this is really nice whenever you want to verify where you are or make sure um, that you have the files that you're that you're looking for. If you want to find out what directory you're in, you can run PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory. So this gives me the full path of where I am. And uh, the next one, or one of my favorites, is CD. You're going to be using CD a lot. So CD stands for Change Directory. So um, since this is a Rails project, we can go into the app directory, so we can change directory into app, and um, you should be able to hit tab, and that will give you a little bit of completion on your command line. So if we do that, you can now see that we are in the app directory in the, the Mama Machines project. Again, we can do ls to list all the different files in here, and you'll see that it is different. So we have assets, controllers, helpers, mailers, models, and views, and these are all folders, actually, even though I said files previously. So ls is going to list the contents of that directory. If you wanted to go back up, we could do change directory again, but uh, the way that we indicate we want to go up a directory is by saying dot dot, so cd dot dot. And now we've gone from app to we are currently in the Mama Schneems directory. So using using that CD command, you can you can change directories to you know just down a level or or up a level, uh, and it's very convenient. Just kind of navigating step by step. The more comfortable you get with a command line, the happier you're going to be in your development future. Uh, so we covered CD, we covered LS, we uh, talked briefly about um, PWD. Um, one uh, one thing to mention with um, w with regards to following directions and the command line, a lot of times they will actually list a dollar sign next to the command, and this typically indicates that they want you to run it on the command line, not that they want you to type the dollar sign in there. Um, so you might get a get something that says, uh, you know, type in rake dollar sign rake routes, and that means you just want to run rake routes. You don't want to type the dollar sign in there again. Um, if you were to do that, you would actually you would actually get an error if you typed in. Let's just try that right now. Let's type in dollar sign rake routes. You know, and then you'll get this command not found thing. Um, another uh, another thing to watch out for is even though you're in your terminal or command prompt or uh, you know exactly whatever you want to call this. Uh, um, thing that we're in right now, the command line, uh, we can be in different interactive states. So we can use maybe IRB, and that's going to be interactive Ruby. Uh, you may or may not have this installed on your machine. The The biggest thing to watch out for is notice that the prompt changes. So we went from this, we went from this dollar sign to this little, little carrot. And so, you know, we, now we can use Ruby, we can do like one plus one. But if we try to do something like we did before, rake routes, um, undefined local variable or method, uh, or, you know, if we tried to use CD, you know, or LS, like none of those are going to work because notice we're actually in a different context. Uh, finally, the last thing I want to point out in that regard is whenever we are running, interactively running, say, something like a server. So here we can run Rails server, and again, you might not be able to run this on your 
machine right where you are if you're not in a Rails directory. But um, notice I can actually hit enter and I can I can type things into this, um, in, you know, including like I can type in CD and I can type in LS, but nothing's happening um, because we're, we don't have that dollar sign. We're always, whenever whenever you're typing things, you want to, and you hit enter, you want to look for a new dollar sign that indicates your command was successful. So again, uh, we covered CD, which is going to be change directory, LS, which is list files, PWD, which is uh, print working directory. Um, and that will that will get you pretty far off. Uh, actually, I, the, the last command is, and I use this all the time, is make directory. So we can do MK dir and then we can just make a new folder without having to open up our finder so i can make a folder named foo and then if i do ls we'll actually see now we've got foo in there and then i can cd into foo so if i cd into foo now if i ls there's going to be nothing in there so there's no files in foo and again i can back out by doing cd dot dot so go ahead and try navigating around just a little bit using some CD, using some LS, uh, maybe even a makeder. And um, the more comfortable you are on the command line, the happier you will be. Also, after you enter in commands, make sure you see that, that dollar sign next to your command line output. So thank you again for following along. My name is Richard Schneeman or at Schneems and have a great day.